Hey guys, Brad here with Custom Offsets. Got another episode of Lifts and Levels. This is not a new one. We've probably done this one, I know I've done this lift kit probably eight times, but we gotta do it because this one is going on a 2016 GMC 1500, but this one is silver in color. So, you know, it's way different than all the other ones we've done. Uh, like I said, six inch BDS kit, run through the kit itself here. We obviously got our brand new lift knuckles here. They're forged knuckles that BDS engineers and designs. All of these are made in the USA. We got our six inch lift struts here that BDS uses. So there's gonna be no strut spacer. This will replace the factory strut. And then you'll actually have to reuse your old coil spring. Um, one knock on the BDS though on this is these struts are made in China. So a little disappointing there. Uh, moving on with the kit, obviously we got for the rear the upgraded Fox 2.0 shocks. Um, we have our skid plate here. Actually, this is more of um, what do they call? This is the this is the splash guard from the radiator down to the lower cross member. Then we got our skid plates here for the front differential. Once that gets dropped down, you'll see here this is actually a differential brace here, which will bolt to the side of your front differential, and it ties into the lower cross members here between these two brackets, which is kind of a a nice little deal that they do. Uh, front differential drop brackets, as you can see here, to drop that front differential down, which you need in order to help correct those CV axle angles. We've got our sway bar drop brackets here, nothing special there, just some quarter inch plate. And then another nice thing is you do get these new replacement tie rod ends so that you do not have to cut the factory tie rods. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We're doing blocks in the rear. BDS does offer um, a replacement leaf spring for the rear, but this customer just went for the blocks as most do. Nothing wrong with that. And new U-bolts and nuts for the back. And then as you'll see here, CV axle spacers. Um, what that's for is because the track width is increased on these kits as with most other Chevy or GMC 1500 kits, about an inch and a half, inch and five eighths. Per side up front, it is increased. So you need those spacers so that the CV axles are not overextended. And a lot of guys will run spacers in the rear to even it out, but you don't really have to. It all really just depends on the look you're going for. We're gonna go ahead and get it installed in the truck and then I will check in later, peace. All right guys, so we got the six inch BDS kit installed on the truck here. Obviously the truck's up in the air. Suspension is at full droop, um, just so no one gets upset about that. Uh, obviously we got the new BDS lift knuckles installed here. You can see those, it's a key component to uh, helping with the ball joint angles and everything like that. Another thing that you'll notice here is the new BDS lift struts. So there's no spacer on the factory lift strut. Sorry, there's no spacer on the factory strut or anything like that. Complete replacement strut. Uh, the new tie rods here, as, as we mentioned before, so there's no cutting of the factory ones. As you can see here, we got the new lower control arm drop cross members in place. Those are a key component as well to maintaining good angles. Um, and then we got inside here, you can see, we'll get to them later, is the CV axle spacers. And that's because track width is increased on these kits, like many others. It's about an inch and five eighths or so per side. It's increased, so they use a spacer, so you're not overextending the CV axles. Um, you'll see the, uh, speed sensors and brake line are rerouted. And then in the back here, we got our sway bar drop brackets um, and then new sway bar end links as well. And once again, back in here, it's kind of hard to see, but we got our front differential drops. That's crucial as well to help with those CV axle angles you need to drop the front differential down. And then we got our new skid plates that tie the two cross members together. And then there's also that differential brace in there that ties to both cross members as well. And I think that's, that's pretty much it up front. Moving to the back, simple stuff in the back. Just the bl new blocks, the new U-bolts, and the new nuts as well for the uh, rear lift here. Like I said, they do offer a replacement spring, but most people just go with the lift block and that's what this customer did. Although he did upgrade to the Fox 2.0 shocks for the rear. And that's really about it for the rear. Um, I believe they do have you pretty much just bend this uh, brake line bracket up here. And that's all you gotta do for the brake lines in the back. And then over here, you'll see that they do have you move around the factory parking brake cables to have some slack in them. So they're not pulling tight or anything like that. And that's really about it. Six inch 
BDS lift for 2014 to 18 Chevrolet and GMC 1500 trucks. Peace.